Hi everybody, welcome again to my channel. Um, today's video is um, about the time that we are spending in uh, quarantine because I know so many people are in the house because of the situation that we're dealing um, with. So this video is for just making you, what is that noise? We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be people outside right now. Anyways, this video is for making you feel, you know, a little bit relaxed and laugh a little bit with the situation. Uh, we shouldn't be um, losing the hope and um, the humor, you know. So I hope I don't offend anybody with this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'll, I'm gonna talk to you about my experience uh, by myself, you know, I'm by myself dealing with this um, virus and it's kind of, it's not bad at all, you know, I made a friend, it's a spider like this side, I don't know what kind of spider, but she's nice, she just Look at me while I'm in the bathroom. The good thing is she doesn't touch my food and she doesn't ask me for toilet paper. So I think we're gonna be really, really good friends. One of the things that I, that I was reading on Facebook was this thing that somebody posted. Um, it says kind of like this because it was in Spanish. It says, um, if they could boil, the bad a little the soup the bad soup a little longer any of this wouldn't happen so i was like kind of laugh a little bit but then i felt bad because i know i shouldn't be laughing about that but it was kind of funny but I, you know you know what i'm saying you see funny stuff and then you feel bad because you're laughing about that and you feel like I'm a bad person, a good person because I'm laughing about that. I shouldn't be laughing. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of hard to decide if you should laugh or not. I heard somebody knocking my door. And I'm not waiting for nobody. With this, look at this. With this, I'm gonna erase your freaking eyes if you keep knocking my door. I'm not waiting for nobody. I already cleaned the whole floors with Clorox, chlorine, or whatever you call it in English. I already cleaned a whole entire house. I already cleaned every little space. My clothes is disinfected already. So I'm now waiting on you to bring your ass full of germs to my house. Do you understand that? I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for you in the house. So you stay in your own house with your own germs. Don't bring your germs dirty ass to my place. Because this is what's gonna happen. You see this? I'm joking. So whoever is outside trying to get in my place. You better turn around and go back to your own space full of germs. Do you hear me? Ouch. One of my quest questions is this one that I'm always like kind of confused because why the toilet paper is gone. There's no toilet paper, nowhere. I don't understand. I mean, is this a virus and you die by pooping your entire self? Or is a virus and give you like lung infections and stuff like that? Because I'm kind of confused, like, what are you doing with that much toilet paper? I mean, if you don't have toilet paper, you go to the shower, put your booty 
and wash it with some soap. But don't buy all the toilet paper. What, what, what are you doing? I mean, I don't get it um, because we don't have toilet paper and this is the only thing I have left. I have to be very careful with how I use the toilet paper. So I'm gonna teach you how to use toilet paper without wasting, okay? I'm gonna use just one piece for the whole entire day, okay? I, I think you can go to the bathroom and poop like four times. If you poop it more than that, it means that you, you are sick and you better take something to make your your booty stop working that much because that's a waste of toilet paper and we don't have toilet paper and no like there's no toilet paper so okay so what you want to do is you have this part right then you bend piece in two okay and now you bend the other piece in two okay we have four faces for when you go to the bathroom you use one face whoop, and then turn around whoop, turn open it turn around whoop, turn around and whoop. if the toilet paper breaks you wash your hands okay you're not gonna go the mm, peanut butter no okay wash your hands so that's how you are gonna save toilet paper um make sure that you really wipe right you don't want to go either and leave doo-doo all over your your um your couch so i always agree with the government closing you know nightclubs bars um you know businesses then then you can have a lot of people inside like restaurants but when they close the gym I knew this was serious I knew this thing was serious this shit is real okay coronavirus is freaking real so I was like oh my god they close the gym all the gains all this you know this booty that I have been working on you know all this booty that I have been working for years it's gonna be gone like this so I was like I have to do something you know but then you know that like, I can work out in the house that's fine but then when I went to the store and I couldn't even find food all the eggs are gone meats are gone everything that I eat is gone that's when People from the gyms, bodybuilders are freaking out because bodybuilders, they don't care about the virus. They care about the food and the gym. There's no food, no gym, no games, no pain, okay? So, that, that's serious. And you are, you all selfish mother. <gasps> Why did you buy all the food? That's so selfish. You think there is no people out there to eat? I bet one person but all the toilet paper and all the meat he could find. And he he, he just did it. I just gonna do it because ah, you are a selfish motherfucker. No consideration for the for for the other people out there. That's when people start eating weird stuff outside. You buy all the food, don't be careful because maybe your dog's gonna be gone. That's meat. You buy all the food, right? Guess what? Somebody's gonna try to break in your house trying to steal their food because they don't have food. They have to do something to survive. Thank you. Thank you. Stupid. People say because I'm in the house and I'm productive. Well, today, Took a shower, put some makeup on, and I went to the kitchen, and then I recorded some TikTok videos. So that's productive. That is. Because I have 25 fans, followers, you know. I call them fans because they like my stuff. It's amazing.
love me. But yeah, that's, that was productive. I don't know about you. But I did something good today. I did my nails too. Hmm? All the celebrities are saying, stay home, stay home, be responsible, stay home, stay home. Stay home. Well, let me tell you something. My house is a box. A box, you understand that? A box. I don't have Disney World as my house like many of those celebrities. Okay? I need food. I need freaking food. My refrigerator is not full of food. Like those freaking celebrities, they have like a garage. Side. Like, it's like a garage full of food. Just, I just spit on So, and they have everything they need, all the toilet paper in the world for cleaning their booties. I don't have time. Staying home? Staying home? No. No. Some people have to go outside and survive. Real people. People that don't have millions and millions. So, stay at home. You know, I know I'm fine by myself. But then, today I saw the mailman put in some, you know, letters on the thingy outside. And I felt lonely. He had a nice booty. I almost asked him, Wanna come in? <sighs> you wanna watch some Netflix? But then I'm like, No, he must have Corona too. <laughs> Take me out of here. I wonder if I ever be able to get out. So pale right now. When I see the light, the sunlight burns. Cause like my skin is falling. And this only I only have been in the house for for a week. They say we have to be in the house for three months or more. Three months or more. <sighs> Anyways, I'm always doing the same thing anyways. I was by myself in the house. So.